We did the anything but Trump approach in 2020, and look what we got. Afghanistan. Yes. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. And you feel comfortable? I do. About seven months after its first day in office, the Biden-Harris administration next botched the pullout from Afghanistan, a decision that left 13 American servicemen dead and surrendered $7 billion worth of military equipment to the Taliban, which quickly retook control of Afghanistan, squandering two decades of American involvement in the region. The gunman charges the last bit and spots an Israeli soldier on the ground. Revealing their relentless and merciless shooting at civilian vehicles. As the video continues, we witness the cars coming to a halt as passengers are shot. Its driver almost certainly dead by now. It is just after 7.40 in the morning. Uh, I started to, to go from, you know, body to body, try to touch. Maybe I can find somebody that is still alive. So let's take a look at inflation because it was under control during the Trump uh, administration and then we saw it snap back up in a big way when the economy started to reopen and at its highest inflation was at 9.1% interest rates. Let's take a look at where they were during the Trump administration. Uh, near historic lows, well below 3% and the Federal Reserve had to respond by hiking interest rates 11 times. It was unprecedented and that of course led us to a big jump in home prices. Those higher rates, a major reason why buying a home is out of rich reach for so many Americans today. It's a major reason why buying a home is out of rich reach for so many Americans today. Russia will be held accountable if it invades, and it depends on what it does. It's one thing if it's a minor incursion and then we end up having to fight about what to do and not do, etc. So the country very close to the front lines uh, was hit uh, more than a dozen. So. The once thriving town of Vovchansk in Ukraine's northeast now lies in ruins a grim testament to the devastating toll of the conflict. Drone footage reveals a haunting scene, smoking piles of rubble and the bombed out shells of residential buildings are all that remain. Edmund Burke famously said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Jesus Christ called you to be salt and light. Salt and light change the environment in which they're introduced to. Light illuminates, salt protects, and preserves. Maybe you have the privilege to not worry about increased mortgage rates, an inability to buy a new home, the doubling to tripling of grocery costs. Maybe you don't have to worry about a terrorist organization looming just beyond your border. Some do though. When we either directly or indirectly install weak and incapable people into positions of power, evil ensues. Thank you for watching. Like this video, share it, subscribe, and go vote tomorrow, November 5th. God bless you.